Live is Shari Finn. She is East County mom. Her daughter, a victim of a sex crime, also the founder of the Rad Movement. Shari, you called me yesterday to tell me what happened on Monday and was wondering why it wasn't reported. Just hearing what has happened over the last 48 hours, how are you feeling and what are you thinking about all this? It's upsetting, you know. Uh, like we said earlier, Joel Anderson said it's going to happen again. It happened again. What are we going to do about it? You know, and regardless of whatever the circumstances were that brought her to the end of that and to the hospital, there was a naked 19-year-old from Hamul running down Magnolia screaming that she had been raped. So it's so disturbing. It's so disturbing. I followed up with the sheriff's department. The young girl was taken to Grossmont Hospital. She uh, refused treatment care. She did not get the SART exam, which is the rape kit. Uh, she was under the influence. She did admit that she was on meth, but she was released. Is this common? You having a family law background with juvenile dependency, you having been a part of this case with your own daughter last year, is this common trauma response? This is absolutely a common trauma resp uh, response to trauma, right? So whether she was under the influence or not under the influence, it's a common response to trauma. And uh, the SART exams are so imperative, especially when it comes to prosecution. And, um, you know, in this case, I, I would have hoped and would like to believe that she would have been held on a 5150, um, especially in the, we saw the state she was in, you and I, on that video. And... Uh, it would have been appropriate to hold her on a 5150 and assess the situation, uh, you know, after that time. You and I have been working together for weeks now, just being out here at the homeless encampment, now known as the criminal encampment. I did reach out to the county, Joel Anderson's office, and they did not address anything about what had happened on Monday and the claims. But they did mention that on Friday they're going to have a press conference uh, discussing the homeless issue, cleaning things up. You going through this with your own daughter because she was a victim of sexual assault here at this homeless encampment in January of 2021. What do you think that the county should do? I mean, you we heard from Mayor Bill Wells of Alcohome in our four o'clock hour. He says this would not happen in the city of Alcohome. Why is it happening in the county? You being an East County mom going through all this with the investigation and the cases, what do you think should happen to this encampment? It needs to be cleared out. And listen, I, I'm not interested, and I'm sure most of the viewers out there are not interested in a press conference about This is not elderly people out here. This is a bunch of 20 and 30-something year olds all twacked out on drugs, and it's a criminal encampment. This is now another sex crime, and I'm sure this isn't the only sex crime. This is just the one that got, you know, attention brought to it in addition to our daughters. You know, th those owners were telling us earlier this morning, they come to work in the morning and they see people pressed up against their walls having sex. You know, how do you know it's consensual? How do you know that these girls aren't being drugged? You know, you don't know. So I, I, I personally am not interested in a press conference about how many homeless have been put in beds this month or last month or this year. I want to know, I I'm more interested in a press conference, how many criminals are actually being taken off this street. Shari Finn, I appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us out here during Good Evening San Diego.